from D-Lab, and I'm going to show you how you can use a standard potentiometer to measure rotation rather than using the expensive RBDT sensors that are out there on the market. It's a really nifty way to record either travel or stroke. So take a look, see what you think. So for this demonstration, I've got a standard potentiometer here. We put a rubber wheel on it to simulate uh, the process of whatever you're going to control. Okay, So you could control off the side of the wheel if you want, or you could actually couple direct to the shaft of the pot. I'm using a National Instruments 9219 Universal Module. So that's providing the power and the input for our potentiometer. And over here we have a PC monitoring the position. So as you see when I turn this, you see a little needle moving. Okay. With the pot, we're simply using it as a voltage divider. Okay, so you could come into this with a zero to five or plus minus five volts. And as you turn the wheel, you see on screen, you can calibrate your output in degrees. So there we go negative, and there we go positive. In this case, we can go all the way up to about 180 degrees, but you could scale it for whatever you need for your application. Right, so here we are in the travel mode. So I'm going to roll the pot across the screen and you can watch it activating digital outputs. So this could be like an assembly line process. And if you reverse, you can see the digitals count down. Pretty versatile way of cheap control. Well, there you have it. So obviously you wouldn't have to use an expensive National Instruments card for this. You could monitor this on a meter or take it into whatever type of signal conditioning you want. But what's nice is if you can get this kind of a measurement off a $2 pot versus a couple hundred dollar RBDT. So I hope you enjoyed the video.